Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today partnering with Figma to show you three ways to guide students through a Fig Jam. And the first one is a really nice tool. It is a plugin called Flyover. And when we run it, we get this menu right here. Now I've already been using it in this Fig Jam, but it turns the Fig Jam into a presentation, slide deck, Prezi kind of experience. Let me show you here. If I click on Reign of Terror, it brings the screen right there. How nice is that? Now I'll scroll back up to the top and I don't have a view here and I can add this view. If I click add current view and I can say that that's the start and I can also move that to the top. Additionally, I can do this by image or even a shape or an image and I can click add selected and now it says image six, but of course I can rename that. We'll say deck of helmets. And that's there. And again, I can reorder. I can even delete. And then I can reduce this menu to really just have it be like a little guide. And then I can go step by step through parts of my presentation. How nice is that? Now, something else you can do is spotlight yourself for students in a fig jam with you let's show me and my student in the same fig jam so on the left i am the teacher on the right i am the student now notice the student has it zoomed out a little bit let's say i want the student to be focused on the national convention i'll zoom into the national convention here and then I will click on my icon and I'll click Spotlight Me and watch what happens. Now on the student side, it's showing exactly what I see and that is what they see. Now that looks works really nicely with the flyover plugin. So if I click on this, look at that. We both go. How nice is that? So you can really guide students through your Fig Jam as if it's a Prezi. Now, what if students aren't there and you're showing them a Fig Jam and they're learning from it asynchronously? Fig Jam has a wonderful tool for this situation. And then we go to our widgets and stickers and we go to stickers and we type annotation. And once we have them, we can bring them out here and we can resize and, and write whatever we want on them. Once we do that, we can change the direction, kind of nice there. Uh, we can go back and get some more annotation stickers and you see there they are, the number of colors. And so let's say maybe annotation, and maybe we could use this as a like a quick stop and jot right here. So stop, write a reflection. You can do all sorts of things using these annotation stickers and they're very, very nice and useful. And they really, really stick out. They really look like tabs or stickers you might see in files. So fly over, spotlight me and annotation stickers are a wonderful way to guide students through a fig jam. Let me use flyover to share a little plug for my partner Figma. Go to figma.com slash education to get verified for an EDU account. If you wanna try these features for guiding students right now, type figjam.new in your browser. If you have any questions about this video, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.